All right, so we have a lot of Marvel Ultimate Alliance news that came out. So Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, you guys already know, comes out in July 19th. What yada yada yada. We have a lot of news to go over, like the story from characters to gameplay element that have been added in, and then gameplay element that are returning. Also, a little bit on the developer side and the story side. So let's kind of get into it, guys. I, I know I didn't do my Yo know, Super Phantom, but hey, we got a lot to cover and we ain't got all our time. So. First of all, we know that the let's talk about the story because the story has me intrigued now. Because if you guys don't know, I complained a lot about the story. I'll leave that video probably like in the corner. You guys don't want to watch that shit. That shit is garbage. But the story actually takes place, you know, in the beginning. You play at the Gardens of the Galaxy like it shows in the first announcement trailer. Now, in the announcement trailer, pretty much you get introduced to the Black Order and Nebula warning you like you got to be careful. Pretty much, Thanos is coming. And he's looking for the Infinity Stone, just like as usual, right? So we get, you know, a lot of gameplay elements from that. But we find out that that acts as a tutorial level, and the second level actually takes place on the raft. Which is something I'm excited to see, because I'm like, the raft is a giant prison where you fight super villains. So we're going to be fighting a lot of villains and whatever. And we know that characters, so we find out the characters are introduced with wor word graphics featuring names in witty descriptions. So, I don't know what game else did that, where it would like bring them up, but it would kind of joke about it. But I'm really excited about that. <sighs> we know that the Guardians board the ship and come across Nebula, Ronan, and Accuser in Proxima Midnight. I think they're going to be the first bosses. Like, they're going to pretty much summon up, you know, jobbers for you to beat the shit out of. And yeah, the Infinity Stones are on the ship, and the fight between the teams sends the stones flying across the universe that's what i like to see it's keeping it interesting because now I'm, we're probably going to be visiting different planets and different versions of like we're going to go to asgard probably we're probably going to be in um you know that place where the soul stone was in the avengers movie we're going to go to a lot of places and that's what i'm really happy to see you find out that you'll be able to play as spider Gwen and um miles so we're going to be handling them and it's going to you know we're going to get a bonus called the web warriors Bonus, you're gonna get a one if you get all females, you're gonna get the woman of Marvel full as a thing. Now, if you're wondering, is this a new mechanic? No, this feature has legit been in Marvel's Alliance since Marvel Alliance 1. It's basically a feature called the um, it would increase your EXP and other things, making your characters buff, and you can actually get the skills and all that stuff going for it. I really do like the feature is being re implemented in the game. That's my only problem was that I was hoping that the game would be would still have the classic feel. It does, and there's actually an option to turn it on from the over-the-top view of where you can see all your characters, or you need to go back to the heroic view, which is the um over-the-shoulder camera, which is something I like that they're giving you options with this game. Um, another thing that comes back is actually team attacks. And what they've actually told us that you know Storm and Thor actually create a cyclone. Captain America and Iron Man do the splitting laser attack. And also, if you look, Drax and Wolverine does like they slash at a Sentinel in a trailer, but they're doing it together. And Black Widow and Gamora actually like just sit there and blast the fucking enemy to high hell. So we find out these the synergy attacks feature button prompts that players have to hit together to activate, which is something you're gonna have to have really good coordination with the person you're playing. Extreme attacks are activated by both trigger when your EX gauge is full. That's gonna be interesting because we never had a gauge for our shit. Because I've never seen a gauge in Marvel's Millennium games. There's a boss battle against Electron Venom that takes place on the Wrath Prison. Venom must be lured to sparking hotspots that trigger a sonic alarm and open him up to attack. The team is still working on ways to make it easier for the players to keep track of their characters and all the action that's the one thing i was scared of that like there's gonna be way too much shit going on the screen and i wouldn't be actually able to keep up with the thing each ability can be improved with the ability okay pretty much they're telling us the rpg that so those are basically rundowns of what's going on now i want to go to the game informer article because that one actually showcases the new cover which is probably going to be going to plop it right there you're gonna see it there, you know, on the screen, you know, because I, I got that editing magic. But yeah, we see a lot of characters such as Deadpool, Black Panther, 
um, you know, Miles Morales and Spider Gwen. Characters we didn't get to see in trailers, but I'm really excited to play as. You guys don't know, Deadpool, I mean, Marvel Alliance was my first experience with Deadpool, so seeing him return is really interesting, <laughs> and I'm very hyped to see this game. Again, you guys already know that I pretty much made a giant video where I talked about the game earlier in development, and I didn't like really know much, but I was really concerned about certain things. So I'm from, I'm no longer concerned about the Raptor, because the Raptor is kind of diverse. And I'm really happy to see that they focus more on how to um how to diversify it because in the beginning I honestly only saw MCU characters. I was like, oh, we're well, only going to show MCU, but they were showing that to get us hyped for the popular character that would be appearing. In Endgame, and I know I'm talking really fast, but I'm I'm generally hyped. I'm generally hyped. Like us seeing the Inhuman, this is pretty much the roster that we predicted would be the Inhumans, a few X-Men, a few of the Avengers, a lot of Spider-Man characters, and a lot of like characters that are on their own. The Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, we were expecting those characters, and we did get them. We got Black Panther, of course. We got, and I'm looking at the cover right now. We got the X-Men, we got Captain Marvel, we got Star-Lord, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy, we got Deadpool, and, you know, we got a majority of characters we asked for. We also get the Black Order as villains, and we have Lady Death there. We have a lot of interesting characters that I didn't, wasn't expecting to actually see in the game. So, I'm really hyped to see where this goes. I don't know when the next trailer will drop, though, but I believe it will be probably the launch trailer. Or before the game releases on June 19th. What are your thoughts on Marvel Ultimate Alliance now? Are you happy? Are you sad? I'm sorry that my mic sucks. Your boy broke his blue snowball. Okay? If you guys take this forward to the video, um, your boy broke his blue snowball. But he's using his spare mic. I got my spare mic. I'm about to go find me a USB cord to actually fix it. Um, also, bloop, you'll probably see on the screen that I have a new streaming schedule. This will be implemented in May, and I'm going to try to stream at least every week. The first game we'll be streaming is actually Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I mean, not Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Spider-Man, and I will be playing it on Ultimate Difficulty, and we'll be trying to beat it before Far From Home comes out. Also, if we'll be trying to um, finish Kingdom Hearts on Proud Mode and Critical Mode. We'll be playing through Critical Mode and Proud Mode at the same damn time. This is going to be a hard-ass challenge. We'll also be playing Persona, and we're going to try to get me to, we're going to try to get Twitch affiliated. We're going to try to, you know, work on all that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. What are you most excited for with Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Please write it down in the description, I mean, in the comment down, section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel Ultimate Alliance news, Nintendo game news, and just gaming news in general. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Phantom Brawler. Peace out.